Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with you in the Sharperi. In this video, you are going to see how you can get started testing your Jetpack Compose UI and application. Let's get started. So here I'm having just a simple Android application with Jetpack Compose UI, right? As you can see here, I'm having just a simple hello world text in the center of the box. So we'll see how you can start testing your UI with Jetpack Compose test. So here's the guide for testing your Compose layout from the Android documentation. This is rich documentation with all the use cases. And even here, if you see testing cheat sheet with all the things you need from finding the matchers, the, the finders, the matchers, what are the different actions you can do. Here you can see move down, up, swipe, click. That's awesome. And we do have this. We will see how we can use the create compose rule and also create Android compose rule with the activity and the different things you will have here, right? This is great thing. Like you can advance time, you can, set content if you want to test ui composables in separation right it's provide an awesome thing like you can download this image or just have a reference to it to see what you can use how you can use it. there is different assertions like does not exist it exists it's displayed it's focused and also for collections like please check this one and you will have like great understanding of all the available option and the flexibility you have with the api so let's go back in here and into testing Something to understand about the Compose UI is that it is different from testing with Espresso in the term of finding the UI elements in the screen. Okay, it uses semantics. You will see it here like it is different than a view based UI. Why? Because it's like the way, simply the way to interact with the UI is different from the Jetpack Compose thing. So Jetpack Compose use semantics. You can set the semantics like this is for uh, accessibility purposes, but you can set the semantics in order to find your UI elements in the screen. So this will generate semantic tree and Compose will use that semantic tree as a way to find your elements. So here is a way if you want like to give the button some specific semantics, you can give it a counter description. Well, be mind that this counter description will be used by the accessibility, like talk back or something like that in the Android, in the Android uh, device. I don't think they mention it here. In the testing, you can use it in order to find the button with this add to fabric. So this is an important stuff. You can read more in the semantic composer. So first let's do the setup. We will copy this dependencies, go back to Android Studio. And here, let me just put it here at the bottom. And sync it. So once you do that, you can start writing some UI tests. Let's just create a test in here. Call it Compose UI Test. And here, what you can do first, you need a rule. What is a rule? It's a way to launch an activity. While well, you can launch your specific activity if you want to test it, or you can launch an empty activity and add your composables so you can test only that composables. So here, let's create a rule, something like that. We will put Compose Rule. Here, as I said, you can put create Android Compose rule. Here with this one, you have to mention the activity. So the, the activity will be launched. So we launch our main activity. And that way we can test specific composables in that, in that activity. So we need to see like many things, if it is going well with the view model, you want to test your UI in specific context. Or you can use the second one, which is create composable rule direct. Compose rule directly like that, but you have to remove it. Now, what you can do in a test, you can write your test like that, JNIT4, as it is not supported, JNIT5, I think. Test if hello world is display. That's it. Yeah, first of all, I want to test this in an activity. Then we will create our composable, like simple compose, composable function with some composable thing and test it. Here, I'm going to use this one to check if it is working fine or not. I will just use main activity. And here in the compose rule, what I can do with the compose rule, first of all, you can get your activity rule, the previous activity rule. If you want to add some scenario and add put on activity thing here, and you can do whatever you want, basically with the previous uh, activity rule thing scenario, or simply what you can do is that you can use the following. You can use the activity, in order to check many stuff. So you can basically access the activity and do whatever you want. But mainly what we want to do is on things. So here we can match. There is basically finders or matchers. This we use it in order to find UIs. Then we can do assertion upon them. Like I don't know some simple assertion, like if they exist, if they have specific width height, I don't know. Or finally you can do actions. So maybe you want to fill uh, edit text or something like that. That would work also. 
okay so first of all we want to find the node you can do on node like that or on node with text right i want to find if there is hello world and after that i want to assert it exists or it's displayed so we will run that first of all let's run the test here right let me check for the tests for the running and let's wait for it it's just a simple test to check with the api there is this assertion there is multiple assertion here you can find assert it's enabled displayed we will see how we can use this height is equal to as we will see in a minute and there is also this perform right you can click on them you can i don't know do scrolling you can do text input like many stuff you can do there is this print to log i will show it to you in a minute this will allow you to see all the composable tree right so there is an initialization error yeah sorry so here we are it should be like that we run it again so this problem sometimes with the emulator just i should rerun it multiple times i don't know why some file get logged so it will run and then it will see if this displayed or not so what is happening fail to perform is display check so here expected one node but could find any node that satisfies text plus editable text contain hello word so i don't know if i didn't wrote it correctly or not ah, exactly so it was word without with the w so first of all i this is a great tip sometimes you want the, your test to fail and see if it's failing right and then you want to update it so let's run it one more time now it should pass again i i didn't find the solution to that problem yet yeah so i will just rerun it multiple time usually this won't happen on ci pipeline or something like that so yeah let's wait for it display it as you can see it's passing right now so this is simple i know this is not <laughs> this is not a good test testing something it's uh, displayed on the screen but here point here i'm trying to show how you can use the api you can find this on node with text or let's say that you can't use that you can use something called a node with that now the issue here it's that i didn't like it much the issue here is that you go to the modifier you use modifier here right and here you will see something called test tag and you can use like hello text so you can locate your composable things your ui elements with this thing right so you can use it like that and if you run this test it will also pass it will pass the issue here thing i don't like is that this is normal pattern in android world but i am polluting my production code with some things specific to the test to enable things into the test yeah sometimes you can't use text like that okay so let's say you want to find i don't know some composable that doesn't have text you can use this test tag it's pretty fine but the thing here like that's problem with me maybe is that i don't want to pollute my production code for specific things for the test that's just personal preference but you can you know, use it if you don't have problem like this thing if you are working in a company you have to agree with your team or something like that because it won't be here we have only one text but imagine like for bigger projects like bigger project you will see that multiple times maybe it will add some clutter into the code but Never mind. Yeah, there is this thing and there is semantics, right? Here in the semantics, you can access many stuff. You can access this content description. You can give it some content description. Hello world button. And guess what? You can find that with on counter description, right? You can use it. Let me just see if it is working fine. I will put it here, but I will remove the end so I can see the past uh, is wrong. I must see the test fail exactly it couldn't locate it okay count the description doesn't exist so once we add the end it will work fine i think yeah let's run it again one more time it is working fine this sort of the basic stuff you can use with jetpack as well the api is much much greater than that like yeah let me just remove all of that yeah and i want to have a specific height of 100 dp and then we want it to have some background color let's use some color of sign let's run it no sorry not the test let's run the app here as you can see i'm having this thing here so here what i'm what i want to test also i want to see like i don't know if you use this often but this is something provided by the compose i want to see if it is displayed and can add this uh, assertion here assert there is height thing here 
yeah, height is equal to 100 dp. The test won't pass, I think. Yeah, exactly. So we'll use it with the text tag like that. I think it should pass right now. You can use another shortcut. It is here. You can run whatever you want. And yeah, let me check for the test. Yeah, the test passes. It checked correct. If you change that to 99, it shouldn't pass. You can use this shortcut, Alt Shift F10, in order to swap between the test or the DUI test or the yeah. app. Okay, so yeah, let's run it again and hope for the best. Yeah, it didn't pass because it's not 100. Let me check exactly tolerance and there is tolerance of 59. Like there is tolerance of half DP. Like if we did something like that, it would pass. Yeah, exactly, as you can see. So <laughs> you should put that in mind. As I said, there is many stuff here. There is at least, there is many assertion here. You can check uh, and see the different options you have. And of course, you can write your own assertion because this will return something called semantic node interaction. And then you can assert equal to just this the height. This is normal bound assertion, right? You can write your own matchers and assertions that are the same way we did with the normal espresso. This is how you can use the Android composable rule. You can use normal compose rule like that without this stuff and the same API apply, right? Just one thing here. Let's try to write a simple composable function. Yeah, let's think of an example. Let's think of an example that it has some logic because I want to test some logic here, right? Let's create maybe a counter. Yeah, a counter. This would be a section in our app in which we have a button and a text and you have a counter. So let's pretend that we have a var counter by some remember of a mutable state of Z. Let's import the right things. Yes. So here we have a button and we have another text. So the current count is this one, counter, we'll put simple UI a little bit. And here what we will do is just update that counter. And since this is a state, it will be observed by the compose runtime and it will recompose that one. We will try to pass everything into column. Yeah, you can do WC like that and it will create a column for you. We will put the button and the text. And here we have simple text that's make increment. Sometimes we do have this kind of mini logic here in our composables, and we want to test this composable in isolation. And this is the beauty of uh, composing function on top function, because you can test them in separation, especially if they have specific parameters to pass. Let's say you want to test composable that has a view model as an input, so you can create a separate view model specific for that test case, pass it to the composable and see if it is interacting uh, correctly or not. Well, let's create a modifier with a modifier, fill max size. And then I want to do a horizontal alignment or vertical arrangement. Yeah, here I want to do the arrangement to be in the center. And let's test that. I hope it will work fine. Counter, run it. Not the test, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have the alignment now. Horizontal alignment. Run it again. Now it is fine. We can do the increment, and you can see we have this thing here. <laughs> of course, we did some tests here with our hand. This is well, it's super fine, but if you have many composables, many stuff, it will be tedious to run those tests by hand. So the idea is to test that. Okay, so how we test that? Well, I will just remove that test. Test if counter is fine. But the beauty of that, what you can do, this, by, by the way, create compose rule will launch uh, empty activity. You can do, you can use this compose rule to set counter. And guess what? You can pass the counter here. And of course, you can specify your app theme. Let's say you want to test the dark theme and the, the other theme. That would work perfectly fine. After setting the content, or you can put that, let's say you have many test cases for that. You can put that in the setup, but sometimes you have to specify specific test scenarios for everyone. So what you can do simply with compose rule, you want to do like this, find node find on node with tag. Well, I can pass a tag for this one. I want to check this one. Yeah, I can make a modifier here, modifier, equal modifier dot test tag. 
increment button and this will be also a modifier with text tag it will be the text what i can do here is that i can find this one with the increment button that sometimes you can make typo here so that may be a problem you can use of course some string resource if if it requires that so i want here to perform click you can test if it is there or not but obviously it's there i don't know why you would test that and i think i should test something previous and something after so here for the text so here i can do the assert and here i can make has text of the following so in the first i think the text will be zero and after that it will be one okay i will put two here why i want to see that test fail okay so i can run it here let's wait for it it won't pass of course because it's two it must be one so with test tag current is one but we didn't find two so i can make it one here usually if it's possible to use test driven development in this case it would be awesome like write an acceptance test let's check it is working fine as you can see i can run it three times and see if it's three here run it again hopefully it will work so again three one two three boom it is working fine and of course like like the normal espresso it provides synchronization with the ui so it's really really awesome library to use i hope that was a great way to start using the jetpack compose for testing thanks a lot for watching this video to the end if you have any question please post it in the description below sorry in the comment below and as i said previously i had a newsletter if you want to join it i will send you every time or every week a practical tip you can use to be more productive developer so that's it for this video again thanks a lot for watching this video to the end don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos